Hey guys, it's Sam. Welcome back to my channel. As you guys can see by the title down there, today I am comparing two mascaras that TikTok made me buy. Now, you guys know I am obsessed with TikTok, so I really wanted to try these two mascaras because both videos that I saw, the girls' lashes looked so amazing. Like, it was just... I don't know, I was like in awe. Now, the price point of these two mascaras, it is quite different. And one is drugstore, one is high-end. And to be honest, like I was so impressed. Like so, so impressed. And at the same time, a little bit disappointed because like I did have kind of like high expectations based on those TikToks. So, you guys are gonna see what I think in the video. Before we get started, please don't forget to subscribe in the little button down there. And if you wanna know which mascara did it for me, then just keep on watching. I have the two mascaras right here. I was just scrolling through TikTok and two videos popped up for me. A video that was, they were raving about this. So they were raving about this mascara. This is the Maybelline The Falsies Lash Lift. And they were saying that it was one of the best mascaras they've tried. And I'm a sucker for mascaras, to be honest. I love me a good mascara. And you guys know that like my favorite has been the NYX. I don't remember which one. Like, I don't know what it's called, but it's the, the pink one with the pink two and the black cap. And then another video popped up. This is the Milk Makeup Kush Mascara. And this is like, this feels like heavy duty. Like, the packaging feels like heavy duty. Might as well just do a video on the two mascaras that TikTok has been raving about, or like people on TikTok has been raving about. I want to test these two out. The Maybelline one I did pick up in the um, waterproof mascara, because that's the one that they were raving about, because it is waterproof and like supposedly like your lift, or like the curl on your lash will last longer. And then I didn't know that this one the milk one they had a waterproof so I just picked up the regular one both of them have I believe the same amount of mascara the Maybelline has 0.29 fluid ounces and then the milk one has 34 0.34 fluid ounces so you get more more product in this one the so price point for the milk one is 24 I believe on Sephora and the lash uh, the falsies la the falsies lash lift by Maybelline it was I believe 10.99 at Walmart. Not the cheapest mascara either. So I'm gonna see this I'm gonna curl my eyelashes. And I am doing a first impression on the um, on a Maybelline foundation. Not sure which one is going up first, but I'll link it in the little card. I do have a mascara kind of like routine and I'll link it up here so you guys can go ahead and watch that. Um, and that's how like I do my mascara because I do use a little toothpick to like separate my lashes. I'm gonna use the milk on this side, the milk Kush mascara. And wow, well, that's a big wand. This is the Kush mascara. This is the milk Kush mascara wand. So as far as mascara formula, I really enjoy a more dry uh, formula, and this. It looks like this is a more dry. So I'm gonna start on the base of my lashes and kind of like wiggle it up. So that is one coat. I'm gonna do the other eye because I do wanna let that dry and we'll come back and do a, sec a second layer. We're gonna move on to the um, Maybelline one on this side. And I did open this one the other day because I wanted to see the wand. So this one, this is for the Maybelline um, The Falsies Lash Lift. And as you guys can see, this one has a more of a hourglass um, kind of wand. And the formula does look a little bit more um, wet, just a tiny bit. So let's see. Personally, I don't enjoy uh, waterproof mascara just because it takes me so long to take it off. <laughs> Again, starting at the base, wiggling it up. Right off the bat, I can see how much more product this one applied versus this one. And how thick it made my lashes look. Like, look at that difference. Wow, I'm not worrying about them like clumping up right now because I'm gonna go in and separate them. So that is one coat of both mascaras and wow, I might have found a new favorite mascara. So we're gonna go ahead and do a second coat. 
I'm gonna go in with a Kush on this side. And right away, right now I can see you. I mean, this one I literally just applied it. But looking forward, I definitely see that my curl on this side is already coming down. I definitely see my lashes getting a little bit more volume on this side with the second coat. So what I'm going to do is once, uh, I usually do with the second coat, I go with my toothpick and start kind of like separating them so they start drying when, while well, they're separated. Yeah, I feel like definitely the more product I put on this lash, um, my curl keeps like lowering and lowering and lowering. And then I'm gonna go in with my Maybelline on this eye. I'm going to take my toothpick and then go and separate them. Wow, like the difference between this eye and this eye is like enormous. I don't know if you guys like, I'm going to take a Q-tip now. So I decided I'm going to do a third coat because I want to see, I don't know, the girl on TikTok literally, she was applying the Milk uh, Kush Mascara. Her lashes looked so amazing, like amazing. So I'm going to go again. I mean, they just literally got all clumped up with that third coat. Okay. So that's the difference. I'm gonna go in and put a little bit on my lower lash. And I'm gonna go in with my Maybelline on this side. Okay, so right away I see a difference 100%. This one I did the Maybelline Lash Lift, Falsy Lash Lift, and then this one I did the Milk. And even like straight on camera, you guys can see the volume and kind of like how big my eye looks on this side compared to this side, just because of my lashes. Like I did curl my lashes, you guys saw that, and I did um, three coats. I actually did two coats and three coats, um, just because I wanted to see if this eye would like get to this level but it doesn't look like that <laughs> I'm kind of like disappointed a little bit because I really thought like the girl was raving about that, about that milk um, mascara and I was like so excited to try it Comparing these two mascaras like def definitely the Maybelline did beat the milk makeup and I mean the price point is like $10 like almost 14 I would say Comparing these two, like definitely, I'll stick to the Maybelline one. I really, really like the effect. I'm actually gonna be paying attention to like how long my lashes stay like this, like this side stays curled like this because I am super impressed. I'll go ahead and leave that in the pinned comment down in the comment section. So that is it for today's video. I really hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe and the little button down there. As always, the products that I mentioned in this video are going to be linked down in the description box as well as my social media. And until then, I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye!